Hi guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing uh, one unprofessional review for this uh, Lenovo Region 5 15 inch. Um, as you can see from the external, we have uh, two logos. One is a uh, Lenovo at the left side and as well as their Lenovo Region series logo with a reflective Aurora coating. Um, the finishing of the laptop for the external part is actually a matte finish. Uh, however, you I do get still get some fingerprints or finger mark at the cover once in a while, but it can be wiped wipe off uh, easily. So pretty sleek. I like this design very much. Uh, next, we take a look at the back of the port. As you can see, all the ports, uh, most of the port are actually located behind the laptop itself, um, as well as two large exhaust fan and. Uh, at the left side, you can see there's another exhaust fan here, as well as a USB 3. And the speaker is actually located a right little bit at the bottom of the laptop itself. And um, at the right side, also we do have a speaker at the bottom of the laptop as well. Uh, next, we will have the speaker test at 50% of the volume. Uh, do enjoy with your headphone on. of the laptop can be done by one hand as you can see here and um, some of you have um, concern over the hinge um, as someone of the people mentioned that the hinge is a bit loose and a bit shaky uh, however for my unit it is quite steady as you can see uh, opening and closing with one hand and the hinge doesn't have any much movement as some of you have mentioned Next, we talk about the internal layout of the keyboard. As you can see, this is a full-scale keyboard with numpad. And it's a bit different as compared to those keyboards that you use normally as it's a bit smaller and you might need some time to get used to it. Uh, next, we talk about the backlit. Um, they have two levels of lighting. As you can see, pressing function and the space bar will light up the light. And this is level 1 and this is level 2. Uh, what can you have a privacy setting where you can toggle on and off? The display also can fold up to about 180 degrees if you need it. The keyboard is tactile and also very responsive. I do really like tapping on it and hear how this sounds like. Next, they have this new additional function which now allow you to control your fan speed at three different levels as you can see from here with uh, pressing of function Q allow you to change from a quiet mode to an auto mode as well as a performance mode so by pressing function Q there is an indicator light at the center which also power as a power button you can see that when I press function Q you can see it change to red and then to blue as well to the white 
so depending on your usage normally for game you can actually set up in the software itself to turn on the gaming mode uh, as you can see now uh, i'm running overwatch so during the preparation stage the fps you can see that it's actually 79 uh, this is at uh, ultra setting um, it's pretty good um, no. now we are in the game and the frame rate has actually increased to about 95 uh, overall i say that this is quite a good performance and uh, the fan as you can see is not so loud yet as i just started playing the game uh, we will check back in about a game later so after about um, 15 minutes of game uh, we can see that the cpu itself had a heat up to a maximum of uh, 84 degrees celsius and uh, the average is about 65 and the highest is about default and then currently now it's running at 65 i'm currently at the home screen uh, itself so next we take a look at the gpu uh, is running at 61 degrees maximum and the average of 55 which is pretty good for the cooling um, as you can see and as you can hear the noise at the background um, there are a total of uh, four cooling system and um, compared to two this is definitely much more efficient yes um, so i let you take a look at the fps so the fps is now running at the 64 fps and uh, this is at a, a high setting of the apex legend so probably some I mean, the fps will vary from about 60 sometime about 190 to 80 average about 80 so uh, after an hour of gaming we can see that the temperature has actually increased to the highest is a 90.8 and the average is about 81.9 which is pretty good for a one hour gaming session and uh, currently it's at 67 uh, which, which, which dropped really really very fast next we take a look at the um, graphic card which is about 64 for the highest and the uh, minimum is about 48 degrees to so 61 degrees um, the other GPU Radeon Vega is about 66 degrees highest and uh, 61 average I would like to apologize uh, as uh, there are certain things that I can't test for example the color accuracy of the display but overall the 120 the performance of the game right with the new Coldfront 2.0 is able to cool the laptop at a reasonable temperature and allow you to game at long hours. For the Legion's model 2020, they do offer AMD as well as uh, Intel. Uh, just that the Intel, due to their reputation, which is much better, and they are able, they are, their price offering is much higher as compared to AMD. However, the battery life for this particular laptop which is a 60 watt battery uh, probably will last about 2.5 to 3 hours for normal tasks. So you might consider other laptop that's offering 80 watts battery which might have better battery life. Like their Lenovo 7i, 5i, 5pi are offering an 80 watt battery which will last you probably much longer as compared to the 60 watt. I come to the end of my review. If you have any and question or any comments you can comment below i will try my best to answer thank you so much for watching